that's the taboo. It's the taboo, of, basically, of all time. Yeah, of all time. But right now, there are a few more taboos. We knocked off the, uh, the taboo against sex. And you, you did, personally. <laughs> <laughs> drugs, of course. Remember how upset uh, society got about drugs? And still is. War on drugs? We certainly know about that taboo. The next thing is death. Everybody has deep thoughts about death. The ultimate taboo. They blew open this world, this psychedelic world. I mean, it ended the 1950s. It was all up for grabs. It's hard to describe what that felt like. Leering out what we remembered as cultural icons of the 60s, especially, and very influential people in not only American culture, but world culture. You know, they are iconic figures who stepped off the map. They really paid heavily. The use of psychedelic drugs, such as marijuana, mescaline, LSD, is out of control in the United States today. Oh, I knew he was an outlaw. You have to be quite a badass to get locked up for your ideas. We had a, a deep, deep friendship, but we also had a deep enmity. We're all going to die. Why not learn how to do it with class and style and friendship as the climactic expression of a life? What Ram Dass did for our culture was to open up a, a door of spirituality by having surrendered so completely to love. When you walked in, there was a flash of total joy. Yeah, yeah, me and, too. And, and love, I don't know the words are, but... Uh, See, in my mythology now, I say you and I are connected at a place where we both dance through this incarnation together, but that we have a connection that is mm -hmm. timeless in another sense of that. And uh, like we're old beings that know each other well through many forms. is wonderful. I mean, I started out a, a Jewish boy from Boston, from psychology to psychedelics to Eastern mysticism, and then have ended up Ramdas, uh, just getting straight on towards God. Who are you? Who am I? It's a very difficult question. Throughout my life, I've always been fascinated by where the action was. I never wanted to have power, but I wanted to... Uh, I ran for governor once against uh, Ronald Reagan. Uh, I wanted to experience the different uh, theaters or stages or viewpoints of life. I think I've lived one of the most interesting lives of anyone in the 20th century. In the summer of 1995, Timothy Leary announced to the world media that he'd been diagnosed with inoperable prostate cancer. He was dying. It's shocking that people are not expected to talk about their dying or to plan it. Certainly, the greatest adventure, celebration of your life should be the process of moving on. He turned it into a theater piece. He turned it into a poem. He turned it into a dance, which is just what he did with all the rest of his life. It was a celebratory moment. Living's a tea sport. Dying's a tea sport. He opened to new ideas. Remember when people used to say that LSD is an escapist drug? Yeah, I understand. You know, one thing yeah, LSD is dangerous because you can't escape. Confrontation. You got a hundred billion neurons. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. And death, my thing about death is not escaping it. I'm running towards this death. You can't turn this over to the doctors. You can't turn it over to the priests. You can't turn it over to the medical profession. Think for yourselves. 
No government agency or no profession can solve these problems for you. I've got to do it for myself, you've got to do it for yourself, and all the viewers have got to do it for themselves. Take charge of it. Uh, plan it. Talk to your friends about it.